here in this video we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to modify the NDINT file which is the file for Word and Excel that controls uh, doc ID placement and auto check-in functions. First thing we have to do is locate the file on the computer. I've already gone ahead and done that ahead of time but here's the folder path. Your C drive, users folder, the name of the user that's currently logged in on the machine, the app data folder, roaming, Microsoft, Word, and then in startup you'll see this NDINT dot dot file. In the article that this is posted in, the other location for the Excel file is uh, posted there, but we're just going to work with the Word version at this time. First step we need to do is go ahead and take this out of this folder, we'll just drag it over to the desktop. And it's up here in the top right hand corner, so we'll go ahead and minimize this folder location, we're going to need this later. Double click on the NDINT file, it's going to open Word, and what we're going to do is press Alt F11, and this is our developer tool section. Here are the two main functions, the doc ID mode and the auto check-in mode. Right now mine's set to put it at the end of the document, but I'm going to set it to zero, basically so it doesn't insert the doc ID. If you want it in the footer of each page except the first, do a two, or the footer in general is just three. Auto check-in, here's the zero and one for enable and disable. Once you've made that change, you're going to go ahead and press X up here and then press X in the top right corner of Word, you're going to save this, that's the very important part is to save that. Let's go ahead and bring our folder back up, drag our NDINT file back in the startup folder. We need it in there for Word to recognize it. And go ahead and close this location and next time you use Word, uh, those changes will have taken effect. Again, please review the article for any other file locations regarding the Excel uh, version of the NDINT file. Uh, if you have any questions, please submit a case to support at netdocuments.com.